It's 10 to 10 at night. Tomorrow morning I'm flying to Italy and I'm giving a presentation on the Women's Federation Social Media Public Relations and Outreach. So I because it should have already started. Okay. From a slideshow from the beginning. Right. So I'm talking to you about oh, my topic that was given to me was social media outreach, public relations. This is the logo of the Women's Federation. And we are here. I'm going to turn the camera off so you can see the logo properly. We are in Europe and the Middle East. And the only logo that I found for Europe and the Middle East is the one that we used on the curriculum, which is just being launched. So in the guidelines given to us about Women's Federation corporate identity and mm, 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 imaging, we have been asked to use the format with uh, an oval logo with particular colours specified, particular shape, and these two lines, UN ECOSOC status and living by the logic of love as an option. So I think this PR shouldn't be there. <laughs> okay, so this PR, can I get rid of that? Yes, okay. So save. All right. So this is what I found of the information about our Europe and Middle East structure and organizations. Now let me turn the camera on again because I want to see you or maybe you want to see me. So the topic is social media outreach, public relations. So what are they? What is it? How are they interconnected? What do they have to do with one another? Personally, I believe that they believe they belong like this. Public relations is what is visible to the rest of the world. And outreach is what we do to become visible. And social media is what each one of us as individuals can do. So what we're looking at is how is our public relations? What is it looking like? Because actually our public relations is made up of all of these things, the outreach, the social media, which is made up of well, what is most important, actually? What what is what is our major concern? Is it the public relations with social media and outreach underneath, or is it outreach, social media, public relations, or is it social media, outreach, PR? Social media is what you do. So maybe you've got a YouTube channel or a Facebook page or a Facebook profile or a Facebook group. Perhaps you post on Instagram. Maybe your kids have got TikTok. Do you Twitter? Do you tweet? Oh, now it's called X, right? So I have to change that to X. LinkedIn is a professional networking platform, which I would highly recommend. Vimeo, YouTube. What about YouTube? WhatsApp is a messaging program, as is Telegram and Messenger from Facebook. Whoops, go back again. And email programs and people that I have listened to advise building your network through email lists. <laughs> I can't click on there without doing something like that. So email, um, mailing lists. The website, of course, and YouTube I already added there. So social media, outreach, public 
so social media is what I can do today. Outreach is what I want to do. And public relations is what others see me doing. So I think some of these other slides before are not so fluid. Would, would have been good to go through this a few more times. Public relations is how we appear and are perceived in the public eye. So this comes across by a public website, a logo, a corporate image, a corporate identity. WFWP has set standards and guidelines from the international level, which they have asked us to maintain, to retain our identity as a unit, as an organisation, as a corporate body. And there are resources to download on the website. So on the international website, which is at, okay, I thought I was going to do the heading there. Okay, I haven't got that there. Oh, oh, but no, the one before that. Yes, okay, so that slide has to go before that one because otherwise you don't see the, the label. So let me go back two steps. So there are resources to download. When you go to wfwp.org, this is the International Women's Federation website. And, oh, I had the one with the, okay, marked. Okay, this is the international website. Let me look at that again to see what I'm doing. The international website, again. And up here, you've got resources. So when you click on resources, you'll come to logos download and also guidelines that you can download with lots of information of how to set up your website and what colors to use and lots of juicy information, which is very important for us. So of course, was this the question I asked before? How do we show up? No, okay, I'm asking that now. How do we show up? We've had national, regional, and international UN reporting, and you already know the numbers. You've heard it all, just as I did. But tonight, Thursday night, I haven't heard it yet. So the question that we ask is, what do we want? Aha, uh -huh. we want members. Whoops, back again. We want members. We want paying members. We want active members. And this is how we reach out to them. Through our outlets, and perhaps you've got an Instagram account. So social media, how do we show up? So before you do nothing, do something. Don't get overwhelmed. You don't have to have every social media account. Take what suits you. If Facebook is more sympathetic for you, then do Facebook. If you can do a website, website is more lasting and has the advantage of being durable. Facebook, you don't really have the um, the um, control. It's um, a day-to-day -day thing. And with the um, – so we're going to do here, Facebook is – Um, what's it, flimsy, um, fleeting. <laughs> A website, I would say, is more durable. To reach younger people, Instagram would be more appropriate. Then you would need to trim your content and post catchy clips. So there's lots of ways to pick up and learn how to do things. Use 
the channels that are available to us today, like YouTube, to learn how to make those clips. Capitalize with on what you have. When I see P Portugal's Facebook page, photos with VIPs. <laughs> with VIPs, for example. If you've got time, then invest your time. And if you've got young people, then recruit them. If you've got time, then invest. If you've got youth, then recruit. If you've got resources, then donate. And don't worry about what you don't have because somebody else has got what you haven't got. Just use what you have. And don't worry about what you can't do. Just do what you can do. And somebody else will do what you can't do. Embrace abundant thinking. You will get what you need when you need it, not before. So the other questions that I have are the ones that I've asked in my text, which I'm going to take with me. I should probably just print that out and take it with me like that and post it on my on my new tablet so that I can work on that on the plane. Okay, I don't need this page. Good. And I want to have the oh okay I don't need this on on the screen anymore but I'm working on that just this is my working video, right? Oh, it's already 11 minutes. I didn't really want to go longer than that. So the other points there are, yeah, okay, that's where we have the downloads. Okay, let me go back there. The downloads. Ah, okay, again. Good. So the point is here. These downloads are where we have the resources. Okay, so here is where I want to add a text. Can I do that over the top? Yeah, I can. Right, so I'm going to make that bold, a bit bigger. And perhaps in dark blue, so that you know it's a download. And perhaps in underline. Okay, how's that? Good. Right, so. Nothing there. Okay, this I don't need anymore. I can delete that. Right, this guideline textbook to download 26 pages is that up there. Here, right. Okay. Good. So that's good. And then I don't need the other. Okay, I don't need this one. Go, go, go back, go back, go back. So I don't need these two pages. This will be where I'm asking questions anyhow. This one I delete.
delete this. Oh, okay. I'm, not, I'm pressing the wrong button. I wonder it's not deleting. Oh, and then I was just going to show you the slides. The Okay, for example, for a PowerPoint, what we would still need would be some templates for PowerPoints. And here are just the pages that were used for the curriculum. And we've already had presentations on the curriculum. So I'll just put the question marks at the very end because... Finally, it's, are there any questions, right? That's the final thing. Are there any questions? And thank you very much. And that's it. So I've completed my presentation and that's it. And stop share and stop.